Beautiful. Totally sublime. Sublime, blah, blah, blah. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we got my cousin Jungle out on the lanes reviewing the brand new Sublime by 900 Global. We just finished bowling league on our 43 foot pattern, about 12 games to play here, so it should be perfect for this sim hybrid. So this ball features a brand new core and cover. The core is the Immerse Symmetric AI core, and the cover is the Reserve Blend 802 hybrid cover. Today Jungle will be comparing it to two sim pearls. We have the Journey and the Zen Gold label. So the Zen Gold label has the 801 cover stock, so it should be very similar to this 802 here. Another quick note about this cover is that because it's a hybrid, it's a mix of the solid cover found on the Reality and the Pearl cover found on the Wolverine Dark Moss. He'll also be comparing it to the Journey. If you haven't seen that ball review, check it out up here. Belmo's newest ball, another Sim Pearl. So let's see how the three of them react. That's enough for me. Let's send it out to Jungle out on the lanes. As they said in the intro, we just got done bowling league. Four games at three players each, so this is gonna be the perfect time. A symmetrical pearl or symmetrical hybrid just like this. Fronts are a little toasty. Gotta move the feet a little left, have that ball corner down lane. Let's get right into it. Let's throw the sublime. I'm gonna stand on 33, right over fourth arrow. I missed a hair to the right there, but that's a good sign. The ball picked up. Turn the corner, slap that 10 out pretty good. That's good news. Miss a little right, we got a little room. That ball looked really good. Those colors are nice. Okay, I'm just gonna make a slight adjustment. I'm gonna move my feet one to the left. Keep my target right on the fourth arrow. Yeah, the ball's got really good ball reaction for a little later in the day. This is perfect. Just right after league, you know, this would be like the fifth game of a tournament. We're into fourth arrow already. This ball is picking up in the mid lane, cornering really well down lane. All right, we're gonna play the same line with my favorite symmetrical pearl here, the Zen Gold label. And let's see what the difference is. 801 cover, Sublime is 802, should be very close. Really close, but I think that Zen Gold label was a little bit further down lane before it starts to corner. So really good one-two punch. And I think if I were to move even further left, the Zen Gold label will probably look even better then the Sublime. All right, let's make a little adjustment. Two boards left with the feet, one left with the eyes. This should be perfect for the Zen. Yeah, as soon as you got into the middle of the pattern, the Zen, unbelievable ball. One of my favorites for sure. We just nutted one with the Zen. Let's throw the same shot here with the Sublime. Let's see the reaction difference. I think this one's gonna pick up a little sooner. Exact same result, high flush strike. But you can tell that ball gets into a roll a little earlier. Just starts to roll forward a little bit sooner. So right now I would probably use a sublime. As the lanes get drier, then I would switch to the Zen later. Question time, we've got 802 on the ball here. So that's a numbering system for the strength of the cover stock for the 900 global balls. What do you guys think about this system? Personally, I love it. Simplify, let everyone know what the strengths are. I think they should do this with cores as well. Because if you just put names out there, you don't know what compared to what is stronger, weaker, etc. Let me know down in the comments below. All right, let's go with another Sim Pearl, really popular. Another really good ball, the Journey. Let's throw this one on the same line. I think this one should hook a little earlier, get in a roll a little earlier than the Sublime. I missed a little left there at the break point and at the arrows, and it didn't quite shape down lane because I missed a little left, so. You can tell this pattern is shaping up really nice for high scores, but let's try and hit my target this time. Yeah, that was decent. The journey hooks a little less, especially when you're getting to the middle of the pattern where all the oil is kind of concentrated, a little bit of carry down. The journey is smoother. It's not as crazy off the back end as the Sublime or the Zen. I think right now, I'm probably a little too deep for the journey. I think I would use the Sublime if I was going for score, going for money. And then the journey would have been before the Sublime, maybe in game three and four in the league. See how early that starts hooking? Got into a roll really early. 
Hooked a lot, left the four and nine there. Journey, a little too early, a little too rolly for this pattern, getting a little bit too far left for it, I think. Let's throw the same shot with the sublime. So we are now standing on 37, aiming at 21 at the arrows. Yeah, see how it just saves a little bit more energy than the journey? Get, just pushes that extra foot or two, makes a little harder curve down lane. It's beautiful on this pattern right now. I can throw this sublime anywhere to the right, and I think it's gonna strike. But as you can see with the journey, it's a little touchy right now, right? A little too much in the front. You're not gonna get the desired reaction down lane. Two more left with the sublime. So standing on 39, try and get it around it a little bit. Make it hook more down lane. Ooh, all right. Getting a little too far left with it now. Just skated a little too far. Came in behind the head pin. 2-8, almost a 2-8-10. So if we're gonna wanna play there, we're gonna have to feed the ball a little further right. That was one more right at the arrows than the previous shot. Got out to the dry a little earlier. Ball shaped amazingly. I think this ball is definitely coming with me to the RPI in Vegas in January. You know, those guys have a lot of rev rate. Lanes are gonna get toasty. Probably gonna have to get in, shape the ball, just like that. All right, same line with the Zen. Yeah, you can just see how well that ball shapes from in there. I missed a hair to the left from the previous shot with the Sublime. Faced up great, with the Sublime went a little light. I think the Zen's got a little more back end pop. A little cleaner, a little more back end. Great one-two punch you know, for later in the day. Starting in the same spot, hitting the same target. We're sitting in the pocket, but you can tell the, the reaction is just a little bit different. All right, so we've kind of figured out this ball fits right in between the journey and the Zen. Real good one-two punch with the Zen for later in the day. Let's cut the rev rate. Let's throw one right up 12 here. See how it does. I love balls that take a little hand out, still get into a roll. If that ball gets into a roll, it's gonna slap that 10 out nice. One more, kind of up 12. Miss a little in, but otherwise that ball gets into a roll really nice. Like, I like that mid lane roll it has, and it still has enough pop that I can play in. This ball is really versatile, I think. Okay, we'll throw one more good one with the Sublime, and we'll recap. Wrap it up. We just got done bowling through the brand new Sublime. Man, the colors on this ball looked great going down the lane. That's the very first thing I noticed. A little bit of gold, a little bit of black, a little bit of purple. And you can really see that gold flip over and roll. I love seeing that kind of thing. I love seeing where the ball rolls. Yeah, first impressions, really nice ball. A little bit of a burned up shot here in a 43 foot pattern. Uh, this is typically when I would try and throw my Zen gold label. So I decided to try the Sublime. And this ball just rolls a little bit earlier and gets into a roll a little bit sooner than the Zen Gold label, both the same layout. This ball looked great. I think if I was bowling for score, bowling for money, I would definitely use this ball on what we just bowled on. Then as the games went on, as the shots went on, then I would switch to the Zen Gold labels, just a little bit cleaner and a little more continuous through the pin deck versus the Sublime. I then threw the Journey on the same line and it just rolled even earlier than this and even smoother off the back end. You know, right in order, Journey, Sublime, Zen Gold label would be three really good balls at the end of the day to end the day off when there's some burn on a longer pattern. I don't think you can go wrong with any one of those three. Symmetric hybrid, a little bit of reality cover in this, a little bit of dark moss Wolverine. You can really see it. Definitely gets in that roll a little earlier than the Zen Gold label, you know, and you can just see that extra cover stock just gripping the lane a little earlier. I also moved pretty far to the right, threw a couple balls kind of up 12, 13 on the burn there with a little less rev rate, and you could really see the ball pick up in the mid lane and continue through the pin deck, even throwing it like that. So that stronger cover stock is great for those kind of lines, those kind of rev rates. If you're playing in the middle, in the carry down, longer patterns, you really need that ball to start up and roll. I'm definitely gonna bring this ball with me to longer conditions, more games, and longer format tournaments, because you're gonna have to move left eventually. This ball does a great job of that. and. It just fits my eye. The darker gold and the black, you know, it really fits my eye going down the lane. I love the way it rotates. And you know, you gotta like balls that you throw. So if you don't like the color of a ball, especially for me, I'm just not gonna throw it as well. I don't know, I think I'm weird that way, but I like the way it looks. Stay tuned for rapid fire at the end. And don't forget my question down in the comments. This cover stock is an 802 blend. The Zen Gold label has an 801. 
Let me know if you like that simplicity of ranking the cover stocks and if they should do that for cores as well. And if you're in the mood for some merch, buying some merch for some fans of the channel, we got jrproshop.threadless.com. Head there, you can buy any style we got in any color in any size. Thanks for watching everyone. See you in the next video.